Hey, what's up? Uh, Tyler, Weekly Mail Reviews here to do my uh, answers to all these questions that we got asked. And, um, yeah, I'm in a completely different angle. I tried to print these questions, but it wouldn't work. And, you know, I don't feel like writing down like 30 questions and shit. So I'm just going to do it from my uh, computer here. So let's start with this. Uh, the Metal 40 says, Metal and beer are my two favorite things. Cheers. Alright. Uh, thanks for asking a question, buddy. Um, ben Benjamin B46 asked, Who's my favorite, Richard or TP? I'm going to go with Richard because he's more of a faggot. Uh, TP is just a, a fat turd. <laughs> I know nobody knows who they are. Anyways, um, Eric Dionarin, uh, apologize if I said that wrong, asked, how old am I and how did you meet? Um, me and Sam are both 19 and uh, shit, we met way back in like elementary school. Sam came to my like fifth grade birthday party or some shit and we played swords. It was cool. Um... I guess, uh, I mean, we've known each other for a while. I guess we became more friends in, like, 10th grade, 9th, 10th grade, some shit like that. Yeah, ten, summer of 10th grade. Yeah, summer 10th grade. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Movie Collector 666 asked, uh, how come we never talk about stoner metal, doom metal, or sludge metal? Um, all three of those genres really aren't my thing. Uh, I sort of do like a few, just a little, couple doom metal bands. Uh, if there's one, you know, that really I absolutely adore, it's Swallow the Sun. Um, if you classify them as doom metal, I love Swallow the Sun and pretty much all, I think, five records that they put out. Um, sludge metal, it's okay. Uh, I don't see. It's just personal opinion, of course. I don't see the greatness in it that everybody uh, has and sees. Um, but bands like High on Fire or Baroness, I really like Baroness or, uh, you know, Mastodon. They're okay. So uh, it's just not really my thing. Uh, Bernie Mac 819 asks, What bands do I absolutely despise? I absolutely despise Abandon All Ships. Um, if all those, if that band got lined up on a firing wall and shot, I would I wouldn't be uh, upset at all. Um, I just I, I just don't like that band. I I can't believe that something that generic and that something that that's that yeah that is that horrible and talentless uh, is just popular. I can't believe that's disgusting. Um, you know, I, I saw them at Warp Tour 2011, and literally every single song sounded exactly the same. Like, there was seriously no difference, and they use auto-tune for their vocals, and, like, not auto-tune to the point where, you know, you can almost not tell that it's used. I mean, this was, like, T-Pain auto-tune over here. I just, I, I cannot stand that band. Um, I can't stand Woe Is Me either for pretty much the same reasons. Um, anyways... Uh, he also asked, what bands would you like to see live that you haven't seen in the past or present? Well, if it comes down to like past bands that really aren't around anymore, I would say uh, Pantera or Death with Chuck Skuldner. I know they do that Death to All tour, but I would love to see like the original Death or you know one of the original lineups with Chuck in it. Um, Bands that I haven't seen already. Uh, I really want to see Black Sabbath. Uh, just to say, like, hey, I saw them. And, uh... Kind of have to think of that. None, none, uh... None are really coming to me at the moment. I mean, I've seen a shitload of bands. So, uh... Anyways. And he also asked, uh, if Fred Durst walked up to you, what would you say to him? Uh... I would tell him that he should break stuff. <laughs> uh, Diesel Drummer 1500 asked, uh, What 
are your top 10 new wave thrash bands. Oh, I might just make a separate video on that one, uh, just because I am highly, highly into new wave of thrash. Uh, I'd probably say Warbringer is my favorite, but I love bands like Havoc, Hatchet, um, Lazarus AD, Evile, shit. I mean, there's just a, there's a lot of really good ones. Diamond Plate. Um, just, I might make a separate video on that. That's, that's a very, very good question. Uh, the Strong Boys 19 asked, What is my favorite metal genre and why? I would say thrash metal. I just love everything about it. It's aggressive. It's very uh, fast. Um, the lyrics are, most of the time, very, very fantastic. Uh, it has so much energy and... Yeah, it's just, it's the perfect music to see live, if you ask me. You can really sing along with them, you can get in a circle pit, you can just do everything. I mean, it's, I love thrash metal. Um, my favorite bands come out of thrash metal. Um, and it probably has the most impact on me as a, you know, guitar player and a musician, so yeah. Uh, Derek92Fool asked, how did you and Sam meet? Elementary school. Uh, kind of talked about that already. Um, Ed Rattlehead asked, my favorite shows that I've been to, I would have to say all three times I've seen Anthrax have just been golden and just a highlight of my life. <laughs> I, I love seeing Anthrax live. Um, ah, shit, my other, another favorite show of mine is uh, Iron Maiden. That's probably my favorite show of all time. I just, I absolutely... I. I I can't put into words how great that show really was, or how great they were. Uh, I really, really, really loved uh, the very first time I saw Trivium uh, on there, Into the Mouth of Hell We Tore, tour, uh, that had uh, Chimera and Whitechapel and Dirge Within. Uh, Tri Trivium just tore that fucking place up. That was one of the very first shows that I've ever been to. And it was just fantastic. I mean, Matt Heafy ran out right into the crowd and stood right next to me, and just shredded during like 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 light to flies. It was it was fantastic. Uh, another shows. I mean, I've been to so many great shows. I really really uh, love Dallas and Chains. The only time I've seen them. Shit. I mean, Mayhem's been good. You know, seeing Slipknot, that was that was amazing. Uh, but yeah, there, there's just been... I've been to way too many shows to uh, really put it all. But those are something that really, really stick out to me. Uh, I also asked most inspirational musicians. I would say uh, Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains. And probably the most would be Marty Friedman. Uh, you know, I play guitar, and his solos are just so flawless to me, and they're so unique, and just, he has the perfect blend between, uh, shredding and, you know, just playing maybe, like, a very simple solo. He has, he has it just perfectly mixed, and, uh, I, I would have to say he's one of my most inspirational musicians. And, uh, what serial goes best with what genre of metal? Fuck question has me stumped you know when I first saw that you know that Rattlehead asked this question I still didn't know how to answer it the more I think about it I still don't know how to answer it um I guess Cinnamon Toast Crunch could be like a I don't know death metal and Apple Jacks can be uh black metal and uh Gummy Worms can be uh everything else um Kill Roms, Kill Broms, asked my views on same-sex marriage. Um, you can, uh, I believe that, you know, you can love and marry whoever you want. I mean, if you're, I just feel that if you're gay, you know, no need to show it in public. Just like a straight couple shouldn't show that in public, you know. I was at Arby's the other day and a gay couple literally just started making out in front of me while I was eating and I nearly puked. Um, you know, you can marry whoever you want, just don't make love and, uh, affection to each other in public. It's just kind of weird. Uh, Kelly Salazar says, the guy in the black shirt such a hottie. Uh, the guy in the black shirt, I believe, would be me in this video. Um, thanks, I guess. Uh, 
Set that Sam's not hot. She doesn't think Sam's hot. I don't care. <laughs> uh, favorite band right now, if I had to pick one, Ghost Brigade. Uh, at the moment, it's Ghost Brigade. That's Overall, the though. Band on ships. Oh no. Uh, yeah, Ghost Brigade. Uh, such an amazing band. I've been listening to this band for the past few weeks now, and holy mother, fuck. Uh, Great, great band. Uh, overall, though, my favorite band is Alice in Chains. But at the moment, I'd say Ghost Brigade. Um, what bands got you into metal? Uh, there's two bands that really... Uh, well, there's a few bands that I can really pick out that say they got me into this. They pushed me farther into uh, exploring into metal. I'd say ACDC was the very first band I ever got into. Um, and they kind of got me into rock music, and then I just got further into rock mu music, uh, even more of the modern stuff. But then I got into uh, the grunge stuff. I used to love Nirvana, now I can't stand them. Uh, I Then I got into Alice in Chains, and they just really, really, you know, that's the first band that I literally got into. I bought everything from them. I listened to every single song. I knew every single lyric of every single song. Um... Uh, bands that got me more into into extreme metal, uh, you can knock me for it, but Bullet for My Valentine and Trivium really pushed me to get farther into metalcore, and then I eventually got into death metal and all that stuff. Uh, oh, and I, I can't, how can I forget that, but Metallica. After Alice in Chains, I really got into Metallica, and, uh, you know, those two really have such a special spot in my heart, you know, if it wasn't really for ACDC, Alice in Chains, or Metallica, I really wouldn't be into any rock or metal music at all. Uh, is Sam single? No, he's mine. You can't have him. Um, do you play any instruments? Like I said, I play guitar, you know, I can play bass, I can play very, very, very simple things on drums, but other than that, that's about it. Uh... And uh, when I started playing, I started playing guitar in 2006, so I've been playing for about six years now, something like that. Um, and the, all these questions are from MS Tammy 13. Uh, what was the first instrument I owned? It was a uh, just a little crappy Fender Stratocaster. I can't stand Fender guitars. Uh, then I got a Epiphone Les Paul. Uh, what famous musician do you admire? Like I said, Marty Friedman and uh, Jerry Cantrell. Um, what song describes your life? Shit, I'd really have to um, really have to think about that one. I'm not really sure. You know, sorry that I can't answer that question. Uh, if you were in a band, who would you open up for? Um, I am in a band with Mr. Sam. And, uh, shit, I think my dream band to open up for would probably be, like, Anthrax or some type of very big thrash metal band. Um, you know, we did open up for Skeleton Witch and Havoc, which was kind of like a, a dream come true to open up for somebody like that. Um, but I'd probably pick Anthrax, honestly. I would love to open up for them. Uh, and if I had a chance to organize my own Mayhem lineup... Which bands would I pick? Uh, like Sam said in his, um, probably just make a separate video because that is a pretty in uh, in depth question. I would just say I would have Iron Maiden in mind. That's just me. Uh, what do you think of the rise of European death metal? Asked Ross Champion. Uh, I, I guess EDM stands for European death metal. Um, I can't really. S I don't like when people abbreviate shit. Uh, but anyways, that's just a little thing. But um, bands like, uh, you know, more of the European bands that have been around for a while, for a little while, like Behemoth or Decapitated, really love that shit. Uh, but the newer bands like, uh, fuck, Goron, Obscura, um, I love those type of bands. I love, I love a lot of death metal. There's a lot of death metal bands that I really need to own stuff from and you know I listen to a lot more death metal than I actually talk about on this channel um, I should probably change that uh, but yeah anyways my favorite band like I said before and in many 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 videos before this is Alice in Chains uh, 
MZBJ32 asked this question, and who the hell is Tammy13 as a uh, friend of ours? Um, Midnight Strike 3625 asked, what motivated you to start reviewing music? Um, I would say my biggest inspiration uh, would, if I had to pick like somebody that I would watch that really wanted me that really got me into reviewing would be Cover Killer Nation. I He was the very first reviewer that I found, and I would watch his videos all the time, and I was like, damn, that would be really cool to have my own channel. Uh, and so he's the one that kind of got me started. I I, I, uh, I remember watching Cover Killer Nation when his uh, camera was really, you know, not the best quality or anything like that. Uh, I started watching him when he made his Cover Killer Nation channel, you know, just a little bit after that, um, after his old channel got suspended. I remember watching uh, Count Blagareth when he had like 500 subscribers, uh, probably even less than that. The very first video I watched from him was a review of the Casey Strange Wormwood, and that, was, that just feels like forever ago. But I would say those two guys are really what got me into reviewing music and I just honestly wanted to just have a channel whether people watched it or not that um, you know I talk about music and talk about stuff that I like and I could talk about music with people so that's that good question Stan Olson asked what's my favorite concerts kinda answered that Anthrax, Iron Maiden, Alice in Chains, Trivium uh, but yeah Andrew10436 asked how many concerts have I attended and how many bands have I met um, I don't really know how many bands that I've met. I've met a few band members from uh, many different bands. Uh, bands that I've met, I've met all of All Shall Perish and all of Whitechapel at Mayhem Festival. Um, I met all of Winds of Plague. I met most of After the Burial. Shit. Alex Kohler. Met Al yeah, Alex Kohler. I met a couple dudes in volumes. Um, Blood Runs Black. Yeah. It's Blood Runs Black. Met Ricky of This and the Apocalypse. Um, met some dude that was high as fuck in Lake Moss the Flames. Uh, the singer of For the Fall of Dreams. Some b couple people in uh, Upon a Burning Body. Oh, met all of uh, August Burns Red, Skeleton Witch. Havoc? Yeah, Havoc. Met a, I've met a few, a few yeah, good mad people. Okay. Yeah, I met uh, President Obama. Um, and how many concerts have I attended? I counted before I did this video, and I have been to 96 concerts. Seems like a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it is a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, but before anybody asks and says that, you know, my parents buy me all this shit, they don't. I buy all of my tickets myself. Anyways, 96, that's, that is a lot. Um, anyways, do I smoke weed? No. Uh, I could go on forever about how I despise weed um, and all that stuff, but, you know, somebody's going to get in a bitch fit about it, and I can't stand arguing with people about it. So uh, I'm just going to leave it here as no. Every time I see a comment that says that we smoke weed, it honestly really pisses me off, so please... If anybody watches this video, do not ask us if we smoke weed. Um, Andrew10436 also asked, what's my favorite bands? I've answered that many times. What's my guilty pleasure? I really, really love Rise Against. Um, I love pretty much every album that they have, every song. I really, really like that band. Um, shit, other bands. I don't really... I mean, I, I do dig Day Trader. I'm not too much into that, like, indie music type stuff, but I really like Day Trader. Um, kind of have to think about that more. Uh, but those are two that really come to mind. Uh, who have you met at Mayhem Festival? Uh, I met All Shell Parish, Whitechapel, and um, Winds of Plague at Mayhem Festival, along with a few other people. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the questions. Um, and Jordan Wright, last, last two questions. Jordan Wright asked, what's my favorite sports team slash players? Uh, I mean, I enjoy sports. I enjoy watching sports. Uh, 
I never really have a team that I root for. I have teams that I don't really like, like I can't stand the Baltimore Ravens uh, it, from the NFL. Um, yeah, I really don't like the Ravens. Um, the New York Jets, I don't like either. Um, players, I really have a favorite player either. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not too big on hockey. I like watching football. I watch, like, I, I'm not too big on, you know, watching regular season games. I'm kind of weird like that. Like, I will watch almost every playoff game from the NFL just because the playoffs, there's more at stake. It's more interesting and more uh, you know, intense and stuff. The same with uh, the NBA or something. I, I, I'll, I'll never watch a full basketball game. I can maybe watch a little bit of it or watch the end of it, see who wins in the playoffs or something. Uh, I'm not too big on baseball either. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Uh, although I love playing basketball. Actually, like actually going outside and playing basketball, it's, it's fun. Um, what is the best and worst thing about reviewing? What a question to end this with. Um, I would say my favorite thing about reviewing would be, you know, getting to talk to others about music and uh, getting to meet a lot of people about music, like, uh, you know. Everybody in the album review community is pretty, is awesome, and it's just cool to meet them and, you know, be able to talk with, to them about music or anybody else that really comments on our videos. Um, it, it's always awesome when a band shares your video or thanks you for reviewing their, their album or their show or something like that. Um, it's things like that, or sometimes when you're at a show and somebody comes up to you and it's like, Weekly Meta Reviews, and, you know, something like that. Uh, you know, those are the things that I really like the most. And just promoting bands and good music, uh, I, I, I enjoy that. Uh, the worst thing about reviewing, I can't really think of things that I don't like about reviewing. I mean, sometimes you get comments that you just shake your head at. And you're like, wow, like really, do you have to be that big of an asshole? Uh, I would probably just say idiotic comments is what I don't like about reviewing. But you, you don't get them all the time. But anyways, <coughs> that's about it. Um, we are leaving YouTube, though, to uh, we sign a contract with Fox News. We'll be on at 5 on Channel 3. Um, so uh, thanks for the ride on YouTube. Catch us on Fox, Fox News. We're also doing a, like a radio segment on Fox News Radio to break up uh, all the political bullshit that they talk about. Anyways, thanks for all the questions. I wish people asked more questions. You know, our video got 301 views, yet only there's only like 30 questions. That makes a lot of sense. But anyways, I really thank you for all asking questions. You know, we both thank anybody who has. Uh, I would like to do this again. I don't know about him. No, no way. You know, uh, but yeah, thanks for everything. Thanks for the 500 subscribers. We're up to like 550 in like, you know, two, two, three weeks. It was cool. Uh, so anyways, bye.